Hey Legionnaires and welcome back to 1100 AD as we do have an English Crusade here in this glorious medieval mod for Rome 2 Total War and yes 1100 AD is the uh, the Rome 2 sort of answer to 1212 AD and we do have England here going up against the Seljuk Turks as yes Richard the Lionheart has decided to go on crusade and is going to fight the Seljuks. And uh, yeah, I like this uh, this guy's armor here. I just felt like we had to highlight him. It looks like he is a living and breathing sort of like St. George here with his St. George's helmet going on. And he's got the kite shield as well. This guy is like, uh, sort of almost reminds me of, like the England fans you see sometimes at the uh, at England international games. Just kind of reminds me of just, yeah, um, one of those. But he is a Norman knight nonetheless. And uh, we do have a 1v1 here as we have England getting ready to uh, go into battle. Looks like they've got lots of mounted sergeants in the front line here to sort of screen the enemy. And they've got um, Britain uh, spears. I don't know why they're called Britain. They should just be called like Norman spearmen really at this point. It is just no Norman England by very much by 1100s. Um, and then we have, yeah, Britain armoured swords behind. We have Norman foot knights over here. And yeah, it does seem a bit odd to just have like Britain suggests that they're kind of like the uh, the guys that uh, like the Romans conquered almost. I do kind of like, yeah, look at the shields. They look very cool, actually. Uh, some of the artwork on these is very, very fun. And then we do have uh, longbows in behind as well. English longbows, what they're famed for, the English. And they are going up against the Turks here in a very fast-paced battle by the looks of it. It's not all a quick one, so we'll do some slow-mos and just, you know, analyze this battle a little bit. We've got Turkic noble lancers here, a lot of the archers as well. Hulam spears, I guess, to protect those archers to be a bit of a screen. And uh, yeah, interesting to see that the English have uh, thrown forward their archers, which are a uh, very heavy bow unit. Um, so I guess in a, in a, in a skirmish fight, I was going to call it a line fight, but in a skirmish fight, they should definitely win this uh, against the light missile infantry, I would have thought. Their infantry, I imagine, is much better. It looks like it is. Uh, the foot knights look uh, like they are uh, very heavy, and they're going up against yeah, heavy melee um, at best. These Turkic armored axes are pretty good, though, if I remember from previous uh, replays I've done on the channel for 1100 AD. And uh, it looks like we've got Ghulam uh, cavalry as well on the flanks here getting uh, ready to uh, go around the flanks and try and you know, stretch this crusader line we also have turkic armored archers over here they're going to go in behind this is obviously you know the bane of sort of a crusader or western army uh, that's facing an eastern army is horse archers that are just, you know, able to harass and then run away before any sort of uh, repercussions uh, face them and it does seem as though the archers for the turks here are being dropped already ever so slightly just a few of these uh, turkic archers here being shot down not too many. It seems like these longbows aren't very accurate themselves. Um, but yeah, there also is only about three units of bows up against, it looks like, um, four for the uh, for Turks. And the uh, English don't even have all their bows looking the right way because they're having to use one to uh, face off against the armoured horse archers over here, which I imagine with their armour, I think they could probably absorb a fair amount of arrows to start with and are probably decent on a charge since they are very heavy. As well they're probably not obviously you know built for it but they can uh, definitely give it a go and here we go england's actually gone in uh, on the turkish general straight away here he's got a lot of uh, melee cab going in and uh, yeah actually all this cab is melee cab i was thinking it's shock uh, we've got any shock cab but no none here the turks also lost a uh, archer unit already to uh to uh, missile fire and yeah the turks are losing this fight early on here is the uh, the crusaders and the uh, the turks battle and General's risking it all here. I like it. This Britain noble for me is going to have to be uh, Richard the Lionheart and then this Turkic Gulam. I mean, he could be could be uh, Saladin, but Saladin was a Kurd, not a Turk. So I, I don't know. It could be someone else uh, who's a, a famous Turk. Uh, and already, actually, the longbows have been routed here as well. This is what I said was going to be a risk for the English. Is the, you know, they're outnumbered when it comes to bows. And yeah, actually, this Turkic archer, I think it wavered. I don't think it broke, though. But yeah, it's now a four. Maybe actually a uh, five or six on one. Because actually, it looks like the horse archers here are certainly shooting into the backs of... Uh, well, they actually might be shooting the calf here. I don't think they are shooting the bows. It's still definitely a four on one. And yeah, the long bows, you know, they might be heavy bows, but they can't take that many on. Now, finally, the calf is getting stuck in here. Looks like that's going to try and deal with the archers here. And we actually have the general as well trying to get in here. It's a real risk. We do have some shock calf here, some lances uh, for the uh, Turks. It seems like, um, it doesn't seem like any has been brought by the uh, the English. And yeah, there you go. You've got a uh, Turkic Gulam calf there. Uh, that is uh, charging and br nearly breaking a spear unit. They're already taking uh, 30 losses. Uh, in goes some of the armored swords here. They're going to go in against the uh, 
the Turkish heavy swords. And now look at this. This is not looking good here. Ritter Lionheart might be about to get himself killed. He is a bit of a foolhardy general and king. You know, he was often the first since the fray and uh, risking his life just why he was loved so often, often by his men. And it looks like he's going to get himself killed here. England's still not sending forward his infantry. I feel like this... The best they can do is they want to be aggressive. They want to be pushing hard. They're pushing hard with their cav, but they're not pushing at all hard with these English foot knights here. And yeah, it's it's costing them. Absolutely. The fighting continues down here. And definitely looks like these armored, yeah, the armored swords, yeah, it's not as good as those uh, veteran uh, warriors there of the Turks. They only lost about 40 troops and they killed a good, good deal more. Uh, no general as well it is obviously probably not helping the situation here for the English. Uh, but they are breaking more archers, which is obviously something. Armored Axe is taking a hit from the cab. The cab's also trying to pull through um, Shock uh, Cab here, which is obviously what's getting it killed. So really, you know, he's breaking the rules, kind of doing pull-throughs of the English player, and uh, it's costing him his, his cavalry, really. Um, so it's his own fault, and... Uh, they're losing their, those units from trying to pull through. Britain Spears over here, they're fighting Ghulam Cab. That's a good matchup there. You can see there the Ghulam Cab pulling out the right way, going not going through the unit. It's actually um, going back the way it came, which is what's saving it. And also, it's not a cheating move. Uh, the mounted sergeants here going into the back of these armored axes. They're going to try and hammer and anvil these guys and break them. Um, but yeah, a loss of a general is not a good sign, that is for sure. Looks like over here, looks like the. Uh, the cavalry, that might have pulled through, I'm not sure. It might have gone... Um, I'm not really sure on that one. But yeah, the spears hit. I'd imagine it was the Norman foot knights, but who knows? No morale. I mean, there's two units here going up against one armoured sword... Uh, armoured axe, sorry. Definitely do not want to be um, doubling up the cannon. They want to be trying to hit as many units as possible. And here we go. Ghulam Cav are going to get a very easy charge into the longbows here. There you go, easy kill for them. Fire on the enemy. And then we have, uh, yeah, the Gulam Cab now going in for a, a rear charge here onto the uh, English Foot Knights. They're going to try and get these guys. There you go, smash into the back of them. Fire on the enemy. And yeah, those uh, Norman Foot Knights immediately starting to lose, wavering at 16 kills, and they've lost half their unit. Actually shows up pretty strong, these uh, Gulam Kavar, even on a charge. It's a good kills. Britain's Spears on I mean, the general with Lionheart, you know, just being way too aggressive. It's costing himself uh, the game, really. This English player here. Throwing away his, uh, his general, and throwing away his morale, and a chance of winning. Because, yeah, look at that. A mass defeat, really. It was actually a really fast one because of the uh, the foolish move, really, by um, by the English player. Zen on here. Yeah, throwing his general in, and it cost him. He only got he got less than 500 kills. He, uh, yeah, didn't even kill a third of Premsel's army here. But, yeah, Zen on, I think, is the one that sent this one in. It's from his perspective as England. Um, but yeah, 67 kills uh, with these English knights here. These uh, sergeants, sorry, here. Um, but yeah, nothing else is infantry. Yeah, really getting like no kills. These foot knights, which probably could have gone on and done so much damage to that infantry. Yeah, unfortunately did not. And then we have Premsil here, uh, getting 85 kills with the Ghulam Cav, 67 with the Noble Lancer here. Uh, they've got Turkic Archers, 66 kills, 105 with these Armoured Axes. Uh, the uh, Warriors here, the Veteran Warriors, 112 kills. And then, yeah, nothing else really getting massive kills, really. But there you go, guys. That is today's 1100 AD uh, battle. If you did enjoy and want to see more, uh, sort of like this medieval mod for Rome 2, I can try and get some more replays. The, uh, the mod, if you want to download it, is also on the workshop. If you want to see more of this sort of content, though, do leave a like, subscribe. If you're around here, the comment shows support. And uh, feel free to set, uh, send in any of your own Total War replays uh, to my Discord. That's how I got this one. If you ever want to send in any of your own to have them featured on the channel, you know what to do. You just join the Discord. But until next time, guys, I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.